Yeah, guys, what's going on? It is your boy from the Land Down Under here, Jetman99, bringing you a brand new Power Rankings video for the LDR Season 7, Week 4. And I'm l and I'm a lucky man to be joined for the second time in a row by the Megas of all mats. Can I say What's hi? Up, <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, and this is late again. I actually take blame for this because... Uh, because... Uh, because... Uh, because my dumbass decided to have multiple battles last week and, and with uni it was too much so I'm going to push this back and, uh, unfortunately but, uh, but lucky enough it is here now and we are ready to go and I'll, and I will say that uh, I actually have got to screenshot the rankings of last uh, of week 4 I still don't have them thrown it so I'm sorry for that but uh, but we did have a uh, Chris vs Matt, Chris won. Brandon vs Arthur, Arthur won. Trig vs Alejandro, <laughs> Trig vs Alejandro, Alejandro won. Jordan vs Mark, Mark won. Jesse vs Carlos, Carlos won. Shay vs Anthony, Anthony won. Stephen and DJ, Stephen won. Brandon and Ramwood, Ramwood won. So that is who won and, and he best this week. But that's what to do. Uh, and let's get down to business and into the rankings. So first up, we have. DJ for both of us at number 16. Would you like to explain why? Um, well, it's, it's, nothing's changed really too much. He, he's putting up a good fight, but he hasn't, um, really given us a good reason to yeah. bump him up. Um, one thing I noticed from DJ is that, is that, is that prepping, uh, he has some prep of like a win con on the opponent's team. Uh, yeah, that's or, what I found he out. Uses stuff like at the wrong time, you know. Yeah. Like, uh, he's he's definitely shown he can he can play, mm. and he can he can battle. It's just uh, it's just um, the key moments. It's 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 meshing the prep with the plays. Yeah. Um, that isn't isn't quite there yet, but he's uh he may in the future do it. We don't know. So. Yeah. Hopefully. Okay. Uh. And uh, 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 and at number fifteen, uh, I actually have uh, Jordan, and this because uh, I I feel so Jordan went in, uh, went into that old hyper offense and didn't and didn't count for as much as taking uh, as being able to switch as often uh, and be able to not sack Mons uh, so we can use them later on uh, when they're more needed because uh, uh, I'm. Pretty sure the uh, I'm pretty sure this match was like was like uh, it was like sixteen turns, and Three there was 16 turns. yeah fifteen yeah. turns, and there was ten Pokemon that died. Uh, so it's uh, it's like two thirds of the battle. It was just Pokemon dying, and there wasn't enough switches. Maybe but twelve, or, or oh no, yeah, ten. Because it was a what? No, a no, because it was a one oh. There was nine. There was oh, eleven that died. So, uh, so, uh, so, so basically, eleven out of the fourteen or fifteen turns, it was Mons dying. But I feel as though Mark had the pressure from the start. But Mark also sacked Mons that he shouldn't have, in a sense, to be able to get the high differential. But it is what it is. And for me, and that's why Jordan is at is at fifteen. You want to go on to your fifteen? Yeah. So I had Trig at fifteen. Um... Trig played well this week. I feel like he was in control uh, at the beginning of the battle. Um, like a lot of people uh, this season, it's it's consistency, right? Like you just got to make sure that you keep the pressure and keep the plays going the whole battle long. It's easy to kind of let off the gas or or, or kind of make a crucial or lose a lose a crucial Pokemon. And um, I even think like two or three turns from the end of the game, Trig had a chance to. Um, KO one of uh, Alejandro's Pokemon, but he ex he didn't expect the scarf. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, and so I, I believe he didn't go for E speed. He went for like Thousand Arrows or something. Um, and I don't know if he would have won, but at least it would have been like a, a one zero instead of a two zero. Yeah. Um, but it just shows how close it is. Like, like everyone can win, and and Trig has shown he can win at least against me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he's. He's close too. Like he's he definitely like he's got it, but it's just like little things like that. Yeah, definitely. 
and 14 you have me you little prick <laughs> yeah um i just like it was a combination of of you losing and other people winning and yeah and i feel it. it was just like um it's not fair and if i lose and, and they uh, win and, and uh, yeah and I go for them, like even yeah. even like steven won brennan won no, Brennan didn't win, but he he put up a good game. Yes. We'll talk about that later. Um, uh, yeah, it was just a combination yeah. of things. Um, so, you're definitely like you're in it too. Um, you yeah. definitely have the chance to still make playoffs. It's just like I'm sorry. <laughs> bad run of, you're having a bad run of games, and and it's bound to end, you know. Yeah. But for now, you're you're near the bottom. Yeah. Uh, and a fourteen. Uh, uh, I have Trug, and it, and it's for the same reasons. Uh, Trug played well at the start, but towards the end, I feel as though they kind of fell off the wagon, and he and he and he just lost the game, or like the track of the game, basically. But like, I, I like he was playing in it, but I feel as though there was nothing he could do about the the situation he was in, given what was handed to him, basically. Yeah. And at thirteen, uh, I have Brennan. Brennan hasn't moved up. Uh, uh, as much for me, uh, because uh, because of this, uh, uh, this is like one game where he's shown what he can do. Uh, so I'm not gonna like give him as much as I probably should. But I want Brennan to work harder, take the level he can, and I'm gonna say that this game it was the best game that uh, that I've seen Brennan play in a while, and I'm glad to see that. And I hope that he can move forward. Next week also. Not even his win against uh, Anthony. That was. Oh, don't worry. Don't. Nah, we, we don't have to get into that. Um, anyway, so <laughs> thirteen, I had Shay. Um, Shay and Anthony had probably the longest battle that's gonna happen in the entire season. Um, oh, don't stop me about it, please. Um, and throughout the battle, it just ended up being the same thing. Uh, Anthony really couldn't get past um, the Milotic, and Shay couldn't really get past the Mew. Um, that sometimes comes down to prep, sometimes just comes down to uh, you got to make aggressive reads sometimes. And they're both just playing it safe, which was fine, but um, once Shay got behind, he needed to make some sort of play to catch up at war. Or at least have the right prep to uh, to take down those things, and it, and it he didn't yeah. really do that. So, like, I don't blame him for not being able to get through that monsters team, but yeah. um, you got to know where your opponent is and 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 have things have checks in place, you know. Yeah, definitely. All right, and uh, I, at, I'll go to twelve. Yeah, Jordan. Um, like, yeah, Jordan plays a, a hyper offensive style he often attacks what's in front of him which isn't a bad thing like he 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 very nearly beat mark and for that reason like he i didn't move him down that much he's he's definitely shown he can battle before um it's just a matter of like um kind of uh, adapting and, and and finding ways to win because uh, he hasn't done that very much this season and he mm. he really you know he can, it's just like, you know. It's, it's... Jordan needs to find, uh, like the play style, a way he can run offensive, and we also have that switch ins to where he can be able to live his and yeah, and just hit like, back uh, harder. And because Pokemon with Jordan's team, it is way too fragile. Like, he, ha he has some monstrous Pokemon. He like does. Kartana, if Kartana gets a beast boost, like, you better watch out. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's just, you gotta manage it well, too, though. You do. So, uh, round number 12, uh, I have Shay, and, and with this, uh, Shay did the best he could, uh, over the circumstances he was given, but I feel as though that, but I feel as though that, it was a stall, he gave up in the end, basically, oh, uh, mm -hmm. like, he still tried his best, but I don't blame him for giving up, because, and because it's having a mute there, it just, it just, it just basically roosting, stalling you basically. I would have probably given up also, but if it is what it is, 
and that uh, and that's the reason why that for me Shea hasn't dropped too much. And I am at number eleven here, but this because of the way I sort of ordered mine. I match said that oh, uh, uh, I think I play better than him, uh, worse than him, and I just and I just put myself in between there. Uh, but I was actually above Chris, so I'm not. I'll be nice. Uh, I meet myself down, Mum, but it is, it is what it is. Are you going, Chris? I haven't changed Chris's logo on your one. Oops, oops. Oh, yeah, hey. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so I had Chris at 11. Um, hold on. Did I, did I do this right? You did. Because I put you in. Remember? No, I definitely, I definitely um, pushed you down one. I definitely meant to move him up more. That's okay. Oops. Um, yeah. We'll kind of just imagine he's a bonfire. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I definitely didn't do this on purpose. It was totally by accident. Um, but I played Chris this week, and uh, he came with the prep, and uh, he got lucky enough to not get hit by any toxics until the end of the game. Um, but no, I, I lost fair and square. Um, very close battle. I definitely thought we were on a different week, though, and I, I did not move him. Like I. Okay, you go. Kind of, but he, yeah, he. Chris has showed he can, he can, he can play well, and uh, he, um, he beat me. I don't know. He did. He he definitely brought like a, a different team than I expected, which is kind of a uh, a good sign for team building. Is if you can yeah. if you can win with different mods. Like I did not expect um, the Mega Charizard Y not coming. Uh, but instead, like the Torkoal game, which was interesting. But yeah, that was good. Yeah, and at ten, you have Brennan. Yeah. Um. I again, I, I was probably a little generous. Uh. But um, Brennan had a very tight battle with uh, battle with Arthur this week. Um. Probably the second longest battles of this week as well. Yeah, it's forty three uh, turns. I think. Mean. Yeah, forty three turns. Um. It was back and forth. You know. Making switches, making reads, um, recovering, whatever, um, and both both guys had opportunities to win it. Um, they both kind of uh, played around each other very well, and uh, definitely. Brennan ended up on the losing end, but he definitely put in a good fight. Um, oh. And that's kind of like the sign of the Brennan that we've seen before. Definitely. He puts the time in when he when he's in the right mindset. Ben has made playoffs every year, basically. He's yeah, he's if he can kind of recover that form, uh, he's definitely a threat, and that's why I might have been a bit more generous by accident. Yeah, here. that's fair. Uh, and in ten, and and I messed up here. Chris should be minus two, not minus seven. So, uh, so messed up there. Do you want to explain that? Uh, to <laughs> Uh, Why did he move down for you as well? Uh, Chris did win, but <laughs> uh, uh, he, he moved down uh, because uh, because I feel as though that because I feel as though that he relied on Umbreon way too much. Like uh, I feel as though that he sent it in whenever he needed to just take a hit, and it is perfect. But in the end, if Matt's luck had it been better, I would have had to hit all, uh, all those toxics. Yeah. And I got more than one defense drop. Matt would have won the battle uh, easy, especially after he was down four-one. Uh, so yeah, it's a little easy. Yeah, back, but he did. So and that for me, yeah, <laughs> so that for me is like the reason why that Chris is down this low. Well, well, no, not down low. Uh, why he moved down? But in number nine, uh, I actually have uh, Alejandro. Get the stats here, and Alejandro played brilliantly against Drink. He, he, all he had to do was just basically sit there the whole time. Oh, I like Krig to just slip up, uh, Krig to slip up, and then just take advantage of it. And I feel so that he played beautifully in that sense. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to go to number nine now. And uh, number nine, I have Steven. Um... Steven has kind of been uh, a bit hot and cold this year. He's not. He's a little bit critical of himself too, more than necessary. hot and cold. But, uh, I get that because the freeze. Uh... Yeah, but um, <laughs> no. I, Steven played well this week. 
he made the switches he needed to. He he set up at the right time against DJ, and he really took mm-hmm. advantage of of his win con. And like, it may be a bit like gimmicky, you know, relying on one Pokemon, but he saw the opportunity and he took it. And like, that's what you gotta do sometimes. So yeah. that's why I got him moving up here. And I should Steven at number eight, and and although he did rely on the Gallade as he's as he's been gone, eh, eh, he actually used uh, like his whole team and like the full poten- yeah. uh, potential and to be able to get in uh, Gallade at uh, like perfect time and be able to sort of set up and because and because uh, I'm pretty sure that he, uh, that he tried three times and to just mm-hmm. uh, and to just set up Gallade. Uh, and the third time he finally got it and was like able to sleep that way. You have Alejandro at eight. And at eight, I have Alejandro. Kind of your eight and my nine are, are mm-hmm. swapped. Um, yeah, so he played well. Um, uh, he showed that that he can really make use of this this team. He has a very solid core, and uh, he can can play very kind of laid back and and kind of. Uh, Kind of switch and 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 put himself in position to to win um if if his opponents aren't uh making the right reads and eventually trig did slip up and he took advantage of it and he his prep paid off and and mm. the ice what was it freeze dry specs mammoth swine yes was it, Scarf? that was um, that was good uh, yeah yeah. I, yeah it was i think he was running a mostly special mammoth swine too which is very cool. yeah um i think he ran it for the uh, yeah, for the king draw definitely awesome to see some some creative tech actually work out too so um yep. yeah that's good and i guess i'll go to number seven um i have brandon here at seven uh, is that right yes yes um and uh yeah brandon um he played well uh he had squid uh on the ropes um near the beginning of battle but um kind of like a few of the other guys like he lost steam uh going on and he um he couldn't really break through the Porygon 2 and and Rad would use that to his advantage really well because he he's an experienced battler and uh, he was able to come back from that um but yeah he like he's st- definitely still a threat Brandon uh he I, he got a bit unlucky um with the uh the poison point early on the Arcanine, uh, if it had lived another turn, um, it possibly could have got a, some more big damage off, um, but it's it's hard to yeah. speculate. But yeah, yeah, he definitely played well. Um, he, he just it was unfortunate. Yeah. And I have Mark, Earn number seven, and he hasn't moved. And because of the fact that, uh, I, uh, because of the fact that I feel as though Mark played too offensive. He tried to make Gordon style, which is perfectly fine. But I feel as though that Mark kind of lost about the art style he has. And Mark does like to play uh, a like offensive. He played play too offensive in this. Uh, Mesprit and also Bulu. It can be used as like a defensive sort of uh, Pokemon and like rely on. Uh, but he used them as offense, which I feel as though made him win 1-0. Instead of maybe winning like three or like or, or like four, basically. And in number six, uh, I Brandon, and uh, 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 and the same reasons as Matt, uh, he did play well. Uh, and did and did Ram would bring a Porygon two, and it got frozen yep. by the Articuno or or Primarina. Uh, it was the Primarina ice cream. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. And so. Uh, uh, so there was luck. He did though. He did. They threw it away. And there was luck on Brandon's side, but I feel as though that Squid played too good for Brands in a sense, and there was not much that he could do around it and be able to play because uh, uh, because uh, Squid was able to analyze Brandon's play style and, and was able to counter it that way. Yeah. You have Mark. And yeah, at six, I have Mark. Um, yeah, so Mark, uh, the reigning champion, uh, he's, he's always in it every game. Um, uh, this game was definitely more hairy though. Um, like you said, he could have, he could have played a more defensive style to try to counter Jordan, but, um, 
Like it worked out for him. Uh, he like he, he played how he needed to to win, which is the most important thing. Uh, mm. uh, but yeah, it's, it's it's you've you've covered most of it already. So yeah, I'll I'll let go. Uh, and at five, I have Anthony. Um, let's just say uh, first battle to go to timer is uh, only week four, so. Definitely not looking forward to any more. It can be put in at like, <laughs> at like just 616 for that in the next three weeks. <laughs> because, mm. okay, I'm going to say this now. At, the, at this battle replay, went for 34 minutes. A normal battle goes for 60 minutes. And they spent half of their time making decisions and calking. And then the other half was just like leftover damage and all that. 83 turns. Oh. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, but he used that mute really to its full potential, which Did. is which is credit to him. So, um, we can never give yeah. Mew again to Anthony. Definitely a threat. I look forward to battling that team with my also bulky team. So do I actually, because my team is bulky as well. So so it'll be fun. Uh, right. And oh, and and oh and. Oh, we both have you at number four, so I will talk for that. And Matt played absolute damn right stupid this match. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> I definitely could have played better. Yeah. There were turns where, yeah. um, like, I, I, need, I, I will say so. And I just kind of played safe. Yeah, I will also say so. Uh, outside of the match, Chris had the upper hand completely. Chris was playing well. He was making plays. Uh, but then when Matt got down to his Sharpedo, oh, oh, not Sharpedo, uh, uh, who's your second last mon? I think it was the the Raikou. I think it was yeah, the Raikou. Uh, and maybe you. Did you? Or, I don't know. Oh, well, second last mon. Uh, Mike was able to sort of uh dwindle down. The next pack went in, uh, and then Sharpedo came in, and he was able to use the power of Mega Sharpedo and to be able to sort of kill all the mons. Around Chris's team, and they were already chipped down uh, about the rest of his team, and lots of stuff. So, eh, uh, and also than that, and that was unlucky in the sense of like missing four out of five toxics in a row, basically. So, yeah, so, that was, that was unfortunate. and that's really unlucky. He the heal belt, like, yeah, like, he did. So it, it, it wasn't he did, like, yeah. a huge deal, but it was essentially a wasted turn for me. Which yes, was, like, wasted extra, three turns for recovery for him or extra. Damage, damage for him yeah. and and it added up at the end like it, yeah it, it did it, but, but in the end uh, and also to, yeah know. yeah and also with like a 30 percent uh at a finish drop out of 13 turns he only got one and he got to go the second one it was game over right there so it is what it is and you can't really blame it on hacks but uh, with hacks in like consideration and that's the reason why that Matt hasn't dropped too far down the list. It's actually funny. Um, near the end of that battle, actually, that was the second la longest battle. That was about 53 turns. Um, I was running low on liquidation, so um, if I if I did get a defense drop, like it would have been close whether I ran out of PP. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that's that's all for that one. Uh, you want me to go to number three? Yeah, sure. All right, um, Squiddy Poo uh, definitely showed why he's uh, on the top of his conference here. Um, he he really kind of controlled the flow of the battle once once he got settled. Um, tends to kind of get a bit flustered uh, on the uh, on the recordings and all, but but he really kind of recognized that Porygon Two was what he what he had to counter in most of his team yeah. and he capitalized and and to that he won even though he got frozen for yeah. not even a turn <laughs> a program too it was like he's checked to uh, brandon's core basically and he was able to use it perfectly and he got to keep it alive for that long man even at plus one the zygar didn't even three a ko yeah sorry uh That's been bold. yeah uh and number three uh I have Carlos, and Carlos got me good. Carlos had the prep, although I will say this, but uh, I feel that I outplayed Carlos, but Carlos had the better prep for me, 
and that's the reason why that Carlos won because he had the good plays and the good prep, and that's the reason why that he's moved up on this list because he out prepped me and played just as good as me. Uh, and at two, uh, I have Squid, and it is for the exact same reasons uh, as Matt. Uh, Squid was able to use uh, his one defensive one and be able to wall uh, Brandon's core and be able to use that to his advantage and be able to sort of pivot around it and be able to ship down the other ones necessary and be able to come in uh, a late game and just take out the win easy. And with the poor run too, picking up three kills this match actually. All right, and uh, number two, I had Carlos. Uh, very similar reasons. He is always in every battle. He, he like whether it's his prep or his plays, um, you're gonna get molly walked. Uh, molly walked. Yeah, you're, like you're, you're gonna have a bad time from one of them or both of them. So like, if if you don't play perfectly or prep perfectly, you're like you're really gonna struggle. And that's just credit to to Carlos's draft and and team building and, and everything yeah he's, he's good and you want to talk about uh arthur oh yeah um uh, arthur played a uh a pretty long match this week against brennan um very back and forth um but i think he he made the raids when he needed to which was the biggest thing um and he preserved his win cons uh which was was really kind of what kind of came down to in the end um not a lot of hacks, um, which, mm -hmm. which is always good. Um, but yeah, um, Arthur is, uh, is is as advertised. He's he's at the top. He's been yes. at the top, and, yes. and he's going to stay at the top until yes. he loses. And this reason, after that this week, uh, Matt and I have both decided to give Arthur battle of the week against Brennan, uh, and this because uh, in this battle, uh, Brennan had been coming off like a, a, a like a slump. And Brennan turned his whole game around, basically. Uh, Brennan played beautifully. Uh, but Arthur was there, able to switch perfectly. He, uh, I feel as though that Arthur didn't make a bad play at all this match. And neither did Brennan, in a sense. But Arthur was able to switch more and be able to gain the advantage and be able to take uh, take a hold of Brennan and be able to perfectly execute his game plan and take out the W this time. And so, yeah, uh, so, so, uh, with that being said, guys, uh, thank you for watching, uh, LDR 6 and 7, week 4 power rankings, sorry it is late, hopefully week 5 will be on time, but I have uni the next three days, so I'm hoping I can link up with Alejandro and be able to record it perfectly on time, so we can have it out for you guys, but uh, with that being said, Matt, want to say goodbye? It's been fun, guys, I'll catch you later. Uh, and, uh, and... And this has been the boy from Land Under Jetman 99, signing off and peace.